subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about what to work. For better understanding of this class, first we must have a basic idea about what's bag of words and TFIDF. In bag of words, we already discussed the, the disadvantages of bag of words. What's the disadvantages of bag of words? Bag of words is not maintaining the semantic similarity between the sentences. What's that mean is, we'll go little fast in explaining that, uh, refreshing the concept because uh, this discussion is clearly made in bag of words and TFIDF concepts. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. Let's refresh the concept once. So we, we consider two statements, two feedbacks. The, this mobile is good is one of the feedback. And the second feedback is this mobile is well and affordable. So what we did in bag of words is we converted this feedback into bag of words and we converted this second feedback into bag of words and we identified the distance between these two feedbacks. So the distance between these two feedbacks, what we got in our example, it's very large value we got. But based on the similarity between the meaningful similarity between these two sentences, the meaning between these two sentences is a similar meaning. Both are showing positive sense. But the distance we got is very large. Why we got a very large value in bag of words? Because bag of words will consider the distance based on the similar words. It won't consider the semantic meaning. Meaning of the word is not considered in bag of words. But in our word to vec we will consider the meaning of the words also into consideration. Let's check how we will consider that. So let's take the statements like this. Have a great day. Have a good day. Have a nice day. So let's take the word good. So good is obtained in the context. Which context we obtained? Have a day. The words that are beside the word good, we consider it as a context words. So the beside good we are having have ye and after that we are having a day. So the context words are have ye and day. So what word to vec will do is it will take the entire data corpus and identify the words that are similar to the word good based on the context words. So this is if suppose example take this this is the data corpus. The term data corpus, we are using it from past two classes, bag of words and TFIDF. Uh, hope you know what data corpus is. Uh, so the, uh, this is the data corpus. Uh, so similar words for good is considered as because great is also in the same context, have a day. Nice is also in the same context, have a day. So these three words are considered as a similar words in word to vec based on the context words it will identify the similar words related to good like that it will identify similar words for each and every word in data corpus this is what word to vec will do how how it will calculate that uh, and uh, it will convert these words into vectors how it will convert those words into vectors is uh, let's take a word have and it will convert into a vector take a word a and it will convert into a ve vector what it will do is let's take a two-dimensional coordinate space a point in a coordinate space in a two-dimensional coordinate space is given like this 2 comma 5 1 comma 2 so how many values are there in this two values a point in a three-dimensional coordinate space is given with uh, like this 1 comma 2 comma 5 how many values we have three values like that you can take any dimension uh, n dimension 100 dimension 200 dimension usually we will consider 300 dimension for understanding we are taking only two dimension this we call it as vector a vector is given like this 2 comma 5 is a two dimensional vector three dimensional vector is given like this uh, so take a word from the data corpus and give a vector from two dimensional coordinate space uh, have a day so word is converted into a vector you can take any dimensional vector okay 
and how it will assign is it will identify the similar words based on the context and it those similar words are assigned together it will give nearest points to similar values this is what word to vec will do okay we will identify the similar words from the based on the context and the similar words are given nearest distance or grouped together so the distance between similar words will be less so take one more condition like this it will also consider this condition also king queen let's say the distance between the these two points is a five man woman there is a similarity between these words the distance between man and woman will be also five it will maintain this type of uh, distances and next take uh, an, uh, another example japan tokyo india delhi japan's capital is tokyo india capital is delhi if you find the words in our uh, data corpus it will maintain if the distance between japan and tokyo is 10 it will maintain the same distance between india and delhi this is what what to vec will do it will as take the words from our data corpus and it will assign a vector in two dimensional coordinate space any dimensional coordinate space we can mention our own dimensions you can need you, you can put 50 dimensions you can place 100 dimensions okay you understand this is what the concept of what to vec uh, how how this values are assigned how this distance are maintained how it is grouping together how it's identifying this uh, words similar based on the context this concept we will understand in neural networks for now just remember this is the way neural network uh, this word to vec will be executed uh, but how it will do that we co will come in neural networks now words are converted into vectors but usually what we have to do we have to convert this sentence into numerical format what we did in word to vec words are converted into vectors means numerical format we have to convert this entire sentence so there are two ways to convert our words into uh, this word uh, sentences into vectors one is average word to vec another one is a tfid of word to vec So one method is average word to vec, second method is TFID of word to vec. Let's take an uh, example and uh, identify how it will convert into average word to vec, uh, sentences into vectors, uh, TFID of word to vec. Let's assume that uh, these are the values given by our word to vec for our data corpus. Have is given 2, 5, A is given 2, 6, Day is given 2, 7, Good 2, 9, Great 2, 9.1, Nice 2, 9.2. For better understanding, we have given these words. Usually it won't give like this. We'll check this in our coding session. Okay? So, have 2, 5. So, how we convert our sentences into vectors? Take the sentence, have a great day. So have is given 2 comma 5, have is given 2 comma 5, a is given 2 comma 6, great is given 2 comma 9.1, uh, day is given 2 comma 7. Uh, take the average of these words, average of these words means uh, sum all these words, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, 8. Uh, how many words we have considered? 4 words, 8 divided by 4 comma. 5 plus 6 plus 9.1 plus 7, 27.1 uh, uh, divided by 4, that's the values 2 comma 6.77. This is how average word to vec is considered for a, for a sentence. Sentence is converted into vectors. Next, consider the TFID of word to vec. What TFID of word to vec is? Uh, so in our last class, in our TFID of class, we already discussed about how to calculate uh, the value of TFID of for a word. Take the word have and calculate TFID of value. For simplicity, we, we assume that uh, the TFID of value is uh, 2. For simplicity of calculations, uh, we consider it as 2. So what's the what's the vector we got for have 2 comma 5 multiply with 2 TFID of value of have. So next to 2 comma 6 
what's that have a a value is 2 comma 6 multiply with tf idf value of a 1.5 next 2 comma 9.1 2 comma 9.1 great is the word that vector is a 2 comma 9.1 multiply with tf idf value of the word great so it's a 2.5 multiply with it 2 comma 7 tf idf value of day is 2 multiply with it 2 into 2 2 into 5 4 comma 10 3 comma 9 1.5 into 2 comma 6 2.5 into 2 comma 9.1 that is a 5 comma 22.75 that is a 2 into 2 comma 7 4 comma 14 so we got this new values multiplied with the tf idea of now divide with the sum all these values sum all these values 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 which is 16 sum all these values 55.75 divide by 8 divide by 8 how we got this 8 sum all the tf idf values so sum all the tf idf values so 2 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 2.5 we got the value 8 16 divided by 8 55 divided by 55.75 divided by 8 that is 2 comma 6.9 this is the vector tf idf vector which we got for have a great day sentence this is how what to work is generated and how we convert our words into vectors and converting the sentences into vectors okay in our next class we will clearly take an example and we will show you how what to vector is maintaining semantic similarity with an example and we also discuss about the coding part in next class is very important for coding the example which we consider in our next class it's it will it will it is very simple example you can understand in very easily but the important part in our next class is coding part we'll discuss about a lot of lot of code which is very helpful for developing ml models okay thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thank you